Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own plasma cutter from Dead Space 1, 2, 3. Or maybe this one's just in the 1. I don't know. It's a big ass gun that can shoot plasma blades. If you really want to get into the lore about that. Here are the following tools and materials you will need. Here's also an image to show you what I used as a reference. So if you want to screen print that and save it to your pictures so you have something to go off with, even then you can probably just find it off of Google. I started off with making this MP40 shape while also following the sort of jagged lines on the top of the gun. So just to clarify, I was a little sloppy with this build. Yeah. I then cut out the weird back piece to it. I, I really don't know what this is. I think there's some, something to help, me, help him be steady when aiming or something. I don't know. So here's the thing with this DIY. I was pretty sloppy with it and I finished this project back in who knows when, but I just didn't really get around to making the video because I was lazy when I really should have been doing that. But oh well. I attached all the pieces together using, using some broken old mechanical pencils. I attached everything together like a so and used scrap bits and stuff to make the following little parts you see before you. I made a copy of the MP40 looking baser. Let's go with that. To and drew it out on with the, 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 the excuse me while I can't talk today. I made a copy of the MP40 shape with the foam core. Really some scrap foam core. I'm trying to save on EVA foam because I've got a lot of projects in mind and stuff I want to build. So yeah, trying to save it. I also made a giant square block of foam core as well. I next made the following little fins and stuff for the front of the gun, along with some spacers to make it the panels stick out more. I pretty much just hot glued all of it together. Uh, this build isn't really difficult. Uh, honestly, I really just kind of winged it all, and surprisingly it turns out pretty well. After I attached the... Oh yeah, I also cut a little hole in the bottom so that way when I'm ready to attach that arm balancer thing, I could stick it in there and I wouldn't have to worry about it wobbling all over the place. I also should have done that for the mechanical pencil, drill a little hole there so it wouldn't wobble around. You should probably do that. I didn't. I didn't really take my time with it. If I did take my time with it, it probably would have turned out way better. You'll see in the end. Next, I took a small break to enjoy some orange juice, pizza, and garlic bread. I think that's what I had for lunch that day. That was. Moving on. More of the following fins to the gun. Because this thing's got a lot of fins. I Next, I coated the whole thing in watered down white glue. If you've watched previous DIYs, you should really know. That's how you do it. So most people, so I've been told that you're supposed to coat the edges of foam core with hot glue, but I just covered in white glue and surprisingly that works. I even spray paint this whole thing and it works, surprisingly. Might want to do six layers. I think I only did five or four, but just to be safe, you should probably do five. Honestly, I didn't really take my time with this, like I said. Coat the whole thing silver, as I previously mentioned. Now that you've got the whole thing painted silver, paint the spots that need to be black, and then after that's done, cover it in... Cover some certain pieces, like the handle script thing with painter's tape so that way you don't get black on it and it ends up ruining the whole thing. By the way, a small thing, if you have rub and buff, you should really use that on the edges of the orange fins. That way it'll look much more metal. Like I said, didn't have a lot of time and I don't got a lot of money. Also, I suggest you use spray paint for the orange fins, but that's going to take up a lot of, um, painter's tape, so acrylic paint it was. I did the same thing for the caution labels on the front, and there you go. You got your very own little plasma cutter. Now go kill some broccoli monster. Cauliflower monster. Now go kill some cauliflowered monster looking things. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a lot. Like I said, it helps me stay motivated. Although I've noticed that the one DIY I did has gotten a lot of attention, which I'm very happy about, because the Attack on Titan Swords was my favorite one I've made. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna hang them up in my room. I should also do something with those. Oh well, maybe some other time. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed building this thing. See you in the next video.